Right. Fuck. Ugh. Well, this... Uh... This is this game. I, I either feel like we mark it, or we're going back to '93. <laughs> this is one of those that the Type Five will drive out in front of us, and we'll, we'll just do loads of damage, and it'll be great. Or we're just going to get absolutely twatted by like a tortoise or something. With that being said, chat, my first goal in this game, as per the last video in the Scorpion G as well, when you're bottom tier. And you're going into a game where you can potentially three mark a tank. Your objective should be to retain. I'm not going into this game to try and mark the vehicle. Obviously, it will be nice, but to try and minimise how much I drop down. Also, fjords not the greatest map. Now, at the start of the game, I'm going to move into a position that I pretty much always use on this map. You can see me moving in here. In now, if we just take a look at the map quickly, it gives you good shots at this kind of area uh, through the gap in the mountains. It's quite easy to back off from. The only real issue from this position is being spotted from where our Borask is going up to right now. But it's something we can mitigate. And if we see something get spotted there, I've played this position enough times. If I see something get spotted up there, I will drop back as you can see me looking up now. And a lot of appliances, basically. Uh, written on... Well, all the places that Max is written as the name. Is that TVP pushing in? Yes, it is. Wait, what? How? That's interesting. How did we not get spotted from that? Now, if we just pause and look at the game state really quickly, there are a couple of things we need to be aware of. Firstly, I haven't done a huge amount so far this game. Coming to this early position sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't really pay off that well. Secondly, the Barask is now uncontested in the middle, which means there is a high possibility that he could spot me and uh, be able to shoot me in the side. So I'm actually going to take a risk and push up into the middle. This should be relatively well covered. The enemy team aren't pushing around the south, and our team have moved up through the the f line so we're going to push up this tank has really good view range try to use our view range as best we can and see if we can get some spots and start to progress the mark a little i'm gonna try something we're gonna become the spotting man Hello? Thank you. Wait a minute. Oh, I think we can do some damage behind me here. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. And... Almost. Do we get spotted? That's the next question. Oh, we actually don't. That's actually huge. That is actually huge, chat. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I need him to come forward by like a centimetre. I 
also needs his AP loaded there. Rude. Good mark, chat. Well, that ramp was slowing me down. Nice! Good shit, check, good shit. <laughs> that was a good game, actually. I said to you, it was either gonna, it was always gonna be a market game or we were dropping by half a percent or more. Look at that profit, though, chat. Yeah, look at us. How much profit have we made today? Oh, okay. 1.7 million, nearly. So, let's just quickly go over the ratings uh, for the WZ121FT. If we bring the ratings up quickly, again, I'm going to be marking on overall tank rating, ease of marking, and marking experience. For the overall tank rating, I've gone for a 4 out of 5. I think, again, so, uh, similar to the Scorpion G, this is a very, very, very solid tank. Really nice gun, can be absolutely brutal, especially when in a top-tier matchup. Good heat pen, so when you're in a bottom-tier matchup, you can still do stuff. It's just overall a very very solid tier 8 tank destroyer in my opinion i've ranked this before quite highly one of the better tier 8 premium tank destroyers obviously myself not being a tank destroyer player this is quite high praise for ease of marking, I've actually gone one better than the Scorpion G at 3 out of 5. I just found this thing a little bit more easy to play. It's a tank that I can play more to my playstyle, so more aggressive, especially in a top-tier matchup. You can make that armor work. You can really push up, get involved in the match. You don't have to sit back, because even in something like the Scorpion G in a bottom-tier matchup, you still have to be relatively careful, because if you get caught out, you will die even to low-tier tanks really quickly. But this thing, really nice. I felt like I could do more in more games. And it's just a, a lovely vehicle over all of that. And because of that, I have given the marking experience for me as a 4 out of 5. Which is, again, for a TD, you're probably not going to get many TDs that are that kind of high. But because it's a more aggressive playstyle TD, I'm a lot more comfortable in the vehicle. I can push up a lot more. You see in this game, I can push up a lot more. I feel a lot happier pushing up, which means I can get a lot higher averages. Yes, I do get caught out every now and again. And yes, that does set me back. But overall, I think it wasn't too bad of a mark. And I would actually think that the mark should be a little bit higher on this vehicle. That's why I've rated that so high. But anyway... That is all she wrote for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, as I said in the last video, please let me know in the comments what you think of these um, style of videos. Let me know if you have any improvements or any suggestions. Make sure if you want more of these in the future, you give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And outside of that, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.